Hello and welcome back to A Daily Eco. Today we're diving deep into hibiscus flowers. We'll explore their health benefits, how to prepare them and any potential side effects. Manages blood pressure. Studies suggest hibiscus may help manage blood pressure. For people with hypertension, regular consumption might help prevent spikes and potentially reduce the risk of a heart attack. Supports digestion. Hibiscus has a mild laxative effect, aiding those who experience constipation. Additionally, it may help protect the stomach lining by promoting the production of protective mucus, potentially offering relief from gastritis symptoms. Aid weight management. Some people incorporate hibiscus into weight management plants due to their diuretic and satiating properties. It's crucial to remember that hibiscus isn't a magic weight loss solution. However, it can be a helpful tool for promoting a healthy lifestyle by managing appetite and reducing the risk of overeating. Urinary tract support. Hibiscus has some antiseptic properties. While some studies suggest it might help cleanse the urinary tract, more research is needed to confirm its effectiveness in treating urinary tract infections. Helps reduce fluid retention. Hibiscus acts as a diuretic, promoting the removal of excess fluids from the body. This can potentially alleviate bloating and feelings of heavy legs associated with fluid retention. Lowers blood alcohol. Some studies suggest it might help lower alcohol levels. However, for those seeking to manage their alcohol intake and its effects, it's best to rely on proven methods such as hydration, eating a balanced meal and allowing time for the body to metabolize the alcohol. Potential sleep aid. The relaxation effect associated with potentially lower blood pressure from hibiscus might contribute to better sleep for some individuals. However, further research is needed to determine its effectiveness in directly treating insomnia and anxiety. Immune system support. Hibiscus is a good source of vitamin C, which plays a crucial role in immune system function. While vitamin C may help support overall immune health, it is not a cure-all for the flu. Offers relief from menopausal symptoms. Early research suggests that hibiscus might offer some relief from menopausal symptoms like hot flashes and bloating due to its potential antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. But before we continue, let's put you to the test. What is the scientific name of hibiscus? Hibiscus sapterifa rosa gallica, jasminium officinale, lavandula angustiofolia. Think about it carefully because at the end of the video you can check if you were right. How to take hibiscus. Hibiscus flowers offer versatility. You can enjoy it as a tea, which is the most common form. Prepare a hot or cold infusion by steeping the dried flowers in water. For a refreshing drink, add sugar or other sweeteners to taste. In some regions, hibiscus flowers are used in jams, adding a unique flavor profile. Hibiscus can even be cooked like a vegetable, acting as a meat substitute in tacos or stews. Contraindications and side effects. While hibiscus offer potential health benefits, there are some important points to remember. For example, Pregnant and breastfeeding women, as well as those planning to become pregnant, should avoid hibiscus consumption. Hibiscus may also interact with certain medications, so it's always best to consult your doctor first. However, hibiscus is generally safe for most people. The important thing is to consume it in moderate amounts, which is around 3 cups of tea a day for up to 6 weeks. 
However, as always, exceeding recommended doses might lead to constipation, stomach upset, and other side effects. Also, individuals that already have low blood pressure should consume these flowers with cautions, since it can further lower their blood pressure. And going back to the question we asked you before, have you thought it through? Well, the correct answer is A. Hibiscus sat tarifa. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. As always, don't forget to leave your questions or suggestions in the comment section below. And until next time.